So today we are going to look at how to build a basic jump pad in Unity for your game because as you can imagine jump pads can be quite useful for quite a few different applications. So let's get started. So before we begin uh, an important thing to make note of is the default character controller in Unity at least as far as I know is still only runs in JavaScript and we're going to be doing this in C sharp. So the first thing you're actually going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and there are quite a few people who have done this online is grab the character motor script after having been converted into C sharp. So the one we're going to use is right here if you just Google search Unity character C sharp right here at the bottom. This is the script and this is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Like I said there are a whole bunch of these online. They're not hard to find but you are going to want to grab one of these for this tutorial as I am going to be working in C sharp. So let's look in my own character motor script now and talk very briefly about what you're going to need out of it. Uh, the thing you're going to want to be able to look at, let's find it in here, um, is right here, here it is, systems vector 3 velocity. So vector 3 velocity is the parameter on the character motor that is going to be adjusted in order to make this whole thing work. Uh, and that is under the class of movement. So this is what you're going to want to call. When you call the script you want to call movement and then you're going to call the velocity off of the movement and that's where you're going to make the changes. So now let's look at the script. I've already kind of written it out here so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me make mistakes and troubleshoot and all that. I've already made the script and I know it works but let's talk through it and you can go ahead and type this in as I'm talking it through. So the first thing you're going to want to have is of course you're going to call your character motor script that we just looked at. I just called it FPS input because when I first started building my game that's what it was and then it changed a lot but for now you just call it whatever you want. Character motor and I'm calling it FPS input. Um, then you're also going to want to have a float. This is power. This tells you how strong you want the springboard to be. Uh, it makes it so that you can quickly adjust different springboards to different strength right there in the inspector. It makes it a lot easier. Once you have that, you're going to want to head and go ahead and do a awake function. And in the awake, you're just looking for and calling your character motor. So I just said FPS input equals game object dot find player and then dot get component character motor C2. Uh, good to go, right? And then you're going to want to do a trigger. Um, so now the springboard, it's found the player, it's found the player's character motor, and now it's going to wait for someone to enter. So on trigger enter, collider my collision. So basically it's saying when something enters, designate the thing that enters into me as my collision. And then it's going to want to check because you don't want anything to bounce off the springboard if we can actually go into there are different ways to make different types of objects bounce on a springboard but for now we're just focusing on the player um, if you do want to see more types of objects go being able to bounce off springboards go ahead and comment below and I can do that in a later tutorial but for now it's just collider my collision and if the collision has a game object tag of player then you're going to first thing you're going to want to do is actually you're going to want to set the movement velocity for the y value to 0. This is important because as you can imagine players could potentially be hitting the springboard from a whole different whole host of different velocities. So if you just say the moment they hit the springboard add 10 to their upward velocity, well if they already have a downward velocity of 11 just hypothetically then they're just going to continue to crash through the springboard just a lot slower but it's not actually going to push them up so to make sure it always has like a reliable springy uppiness you're going to want to go ahead and set velocity y to zero 
and then you go and you say set velocity now equal to itself because now y is zero so we can equal itself and add to that y this transform dot up times power and transform dot up just refers to whatever direction is up for the springboard so you can imagine that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be in the y direction if there are ways to make it all only in the y direction but this is a little nicer because by doing transform dot up times power and making up always in relation to whatever up is for the springboard you now can change the angle of the spring simply by changing the angle of the springboard so now let's go ahead and we've written in this simple little script let's pop it into a game situation So here we are in a little scene I constructed that might be a situation where you need to give the player some jump pads you know you have these increasingly tall platforms and you might say the player wants to get up here so obviously now we need to create these jump pads now I've already kind of put together a lot of this scene just for my own convenience uh, we can see we have the character motor scripts right here on the player so we have our player our character motor scripts but we still don't have springboards so let's go right ahead and create a cube 3d object cube and this is going to be our springboard I'm bringing it in okay and there we go a nice simple springboard now I want to show you something caution against because the first instinct is okay make it a trigger enter hit play good to go right but if you do that um, you'll see you just clip right through it right oh and you didn't even attach the script because I'm an idiot so let's go ahead and first off let's add in a second box collider for it and this one we are going to keep solid and we're just going to keep it the size of the springboard this one we're going to actually make the Y a little bit taller and actually we want to shrink in the sides of it just a tad and then we're gonna go ahead yeah and that's a trigger enter and then you want to take your script I just called in this case it a teaching script because I'm using it to make a teaching video plop it in but this is your jump pad script we see we have the power right here right now it's at zero so let's go ahead and we'll make that 10 let's see how this goes so we have our character he goes over here and look he's bouncing on our bounce pad so now let's go ahead and finish the scene off so oh and you know what um, no I didn't even bother so let's just finish it off actually uh, there's something a little nifty thing you can do with the jump pad but we're keeping it basic right now so let's just keep it basic if you guys want to see a more fancy jump pad video I can show you some nifty tricks in fact I'll show you at the end of this video what a more fancy jump pad might do um, let's give that maybe an 18 you think that sounds pretty good and then duplicate it again and let's create let's show off how you can do these funky angled bounce pads since we coded it as such now it's gonna actually be hard to make sure I okay that should work and then let's go ahead and <coughs> we'll give this one like a 23 I don't know why not all right let's test this out and see if we can get our little robot friend up to the top our little guy all right if we go and we go and overshot that let's not give it a 25 or 20 let's just make it 20 23 whatever all right here we go so we're gonna take Marty and we're gonna move him over and then over and then oh perfect so there you have it and we've made our little jump pad scenario and we got to the top of the little mountain so up oh, nearly forgot that I promised I would show you guys a more fancy jump pad I kinda had this at the beginning of the video but here it is once again 
Uh, as you can see, this jump pad uses a bit more effects. It does a little contraction effect, like it's reacting to the player hitting it. It also has sound effects. Uh, if you guys want to see a more fancy jump pad, I can make a part two to this video and put that up. Otherwise, if you want to see something else, just go ahead and comment what that is that you might like. Uh, and I guess thanks for watching this. And if you did enjoy what you saw, then please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to this channel. And I can keep pumping out videos like this. So I hope you have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.